Hello, hi, I'm very excited right now because uh, last night at like 9 p.m. out of nowhere, Nintendo just tweeted that Banjo-Tooie is gonna be on Nintendo Switch, gonna be on Nintendo Switch Online. I was just browsing Twitter and I see this video with a bear and bird are back and I was like, oh, what's this? This has gotta be like some kind of Banjo-Kazooie ROM hack, right? Hey, there's been a couple of those coming out lately. It's probably one of those. Nintendo of America tweeted this? B Banjo-Tooie, what the fuck, what's going on? Holy shit! I could not believe it. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a little annoyed because I was, I kind of was hoping that they would announce this in like a Nintendo Direct alongside like Diddy Kong Racing, Donkey Kong 64, Conker's Bad Fur Day. They added the mature section, so like it's, it's still possible. But I mean, I'll take it, man. The Adventure 2 is, is my favorite of those. If, because like, okay, if you don't know. Right. I mean, if it wasn't obvious, considering I named the channel after this game, Banjo-Tooie is my favorite game of all time, ever. Is it the best game ever made? No, <laughs> I will be the first to tell you that. Um, but it's a very important and special game to me, and I love it. I love so much about it. I just love it so much. I've played it so many times. I know practically every polygon of that game. I just adore it to no end. And I'm so immensely happy that it's on Nintendo Switch now. I don't even have the expansion pack myself, so I can't even play it on my Switch uh, right now. Well, I mean, no one can. It's not out yet till the end of the month. But I'm just so happy for other people that other people, like a whole new generation, can, can now experience Banjo-Tooie on the Switch. And I'm also so happy, uh, I'm so excited because, like, this is the first time that the Nintendo 64 version of Banjo-Tooie has been officially re-released, which is kind of huge, because the only other version that's been released was the Xbox Live, the Xbox Live Arcade version, which was also re-released, uh, with Rare Replay. And there are a few differences between them. Nothing crazy, like, by and large, they are the same experience. The biggest pro of the Xbox version was that it did not have any lag. Which, uh, if you've ever played Banjo-Tooie on, on an actual Nintendo 64, that thing chugs the system. That, that game, it struggles to keep up with Banjo-Tooie, especially like Pterodactyl Land, Hailfire Peaks. The N64 struggles to run Banjo-Tooie sometimes. Um, so having like an official lag-free version of Banjo-Tooie, like the N64 version, is crazy to me. Um, other than that, this is also a, a big deal because of stuff like multiplayer, Banjo-Tooie online multiplayer, which I don't believe was in the Xbox version. I don't have an Xbox, Nintendo owns my ass, so I never play the Xbox version, but I don't think the Xbox version had online multiplayer, so um, being able to do Banjo-Tooie online multiplayer officially is insane. Like. And that multiplayer is fun too. Like I've only ever done it a few times because I don't have many friends who actually like Banjo-Tooie, um, especially because you can only play it locally. The fact that there's an option to play Banjo-Tooie online multiplayer is is incredible. Also, widescreen support, which was it was a feature. It's a feature in the original Nintendo 64 version that they they just have. <laughs> an option to have widescreen mode. It wasn't very good from what I remember. So I don't know, but it looks like it, it's working pretty well in on NSO. So that's that's pretty good. Yeah, man, I'm just really happy that Banjo-Tooie is on the Switch. Um, I just, I love seeing Banjo and Kazooie on Nintendo systems again. It's not a new game, of course, but this is still absolutely huge to me. You know, like I said, this is my favorite game of all time. And I'm just so happy that more people will be able to play it now. Um, the backtracking is not as bad as people say it is. I promise you that. It's not as bad. Just use the warp pads. It's not that bad. Also, you don't even need to backtrack. You don't have to collect everything. The game is very lenient in what you, you, you have to collect. You don't need to get everything. Just play the game at your own pace. It's a really fun game. I hope people give it a chance. I'm probably going to make another video talking about this later, uh, closer to when it actually releases on NSO. I'm just so happy. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. I just wanted to make a quick video talking about how excited I am about this. Banjo Tooie's on the Switch! Ah!